Now let's welcome Professor Huai Enchen from National Yilan University. The speech is entitled Pig Talk, an AI-based IoT platform for pig-like crushing mitigation. Let's welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, today, uh, I would like to share my uh, experience on uh, applying ICT technology to the agriculture. Uh, the, uh, my title is an AI-based IoT platform for uh, pig leg uh, crash and mitigation, uh, which means we want to uh, mitigate the accident to the pig leg. The pig leg is a small pig. Uh, and uh, we develop an IoT-based platform. Uh, uh, we wish to use this platform to monitor the whole farming house to uh, enhance the environment for the pig farming. Uh, this platform is named uh, Pig Talk. Uh, uh, first, I would like to introduce uh, the uh, environment and the current status to the pig leg. Right now, in the pig farming business, pig leg maturity is a serious issue because uh, every pig is very uh, special and uh, uh, very important uh, asset for the farmers. They uh, earn money based on the pig. If the pig dead, they, they will lose their money, okay? So in particular, 7.5% uh, of pig leg uh, will kill by saw. The saw uh, is the mother pig for the pig leg. Uh, they will uh, kill in the first three days because the uh, pig leg sucking uh, uh, from the saw. Uh, they will uh, closer to the saw. But when the saw stand up and then laying down, the saw will crash the pig leg. So uh, in statistics, uh, on average, uh, 1.2 pig legs crash every day. Uh, specifically, the pig leg crashing may occur the saw is laying down or turn uh, over its body. Uh, the accident occur to the weaker uh, pig leg more often because the weaker uh, pig leg uh, will uh, more likely to stay near their mother so okay uh, in Ilan we have uh, two application uh, area two farmer one is uh, Yiyang Ranch uh, which is uh, known as the pork, uh, Kavalan uh, black pork. Uh, this pork is output only supplied to the top restaurants. And the second is uh, the Formosa Fortune Group. This uh, company is the first, uh, first explorer of breed, breeding pigs in Taiwan and also known for high quality breeding pigs. Uh, therefore, the breeding pigs and the pig leg are precious asset for these farms. And so the survival rate of pig is very important for the farmers. Uh, this slide uh, shows a smart farrowing house. In this picture, we can see this is the front, front door, this is the back door. In the front door, uh, in the front door, uh, we have the uh, weight, weight pad here. And in the back door, we have several fans here. So uh, if they uh, turns on, the airflow will uh, uh, from the front door uh, flow to the back door. And there are the heating lights here. And uh, uh, in the front, 
middle and back, we put the uh, temperature sensors and humidity uh, sensors. And uh, in particular, we uh, put the uh, nitrogen sensor here because the flow is from the front door to the back door. So we detect the degree of nitrogen here. We also detect the temperature and the, the humidity uh, in inside the fairing house and outside to uh, smart, uh, make smart decision to turn on the heating light or not. Uh, this is the uh, inside uh, picture uh, that uh, contains uh, soul and pig leg. We can see uh, this is the soul and this is the pig leg. In the first several days, they will uh, stay near their mother uh, to uh, suckling. A pig leg crash may occur when the soul uh, moving around. The weaker uh, pig leg may keep warm, so they will uh, stay more closer to their mother. In the traditional way, the farmers will uh, design the fairing cage like this to uh, restrict the posture change of the soil. But um, we will use another way. We will put IoT device uh, into the fairing cage. Uh, when the uh, pig leg crash occurs, we will uh, uh, enable the actuators to uh, move the saw uh, to stand up. Uh, I use the one video to demonstrate the uh, pig leg crash event. Okay, yeah. Send in. Okay. Do you see? Uh, let me uh, replay it again. Okay. Here. Okay. When the uh, crashing occurs, the pig will, will scream. And uh, the farmer should uh, come in very fast and uh, uh, to um, ensure the soil can stand up. Then uh, the situation will be safe. Okay. But uh, you can imagine that the, this job is a 24 hour job. Yeah. People cannot uh, look, uh, take care of the fairing cage, so many uh, cages for 24 hours. So this job is, uh, cost uh, is very high. Uh, therefore, uh, we survey uh, several papers to design the IoT platform. Uh, first, uh, we uh, found that the microphone sensors can be used to detect the screaming voice from the pig leg. And the other paper, uh, reference nine, uh, uh, it investigates the distress vocalization. Vocalization is the voice uh, and the relationship between the voice to the pig leg's age, weight, and different uh, health status. In uh, uh, Reality Work 7, it uh, recommend to use the unidirectional microphone uh, in this environment to uh, uh, avoid the interference from different cage. The pig leg uh, in the neighbor cage, when they scream, they may be interference the 
accuracy of the, our detection. But uh, in the result of uh, the reference paper, it's only the accuracy only reached uh, 32 percent. Therefore, um, we use the AI technology to enhance the accuracy. Okay, this is the uh, fairing house, and uh, we put uh, the our sensors accurators. Uh, already deployed uh, in the fairing house. Uh, on the top here and uh, here, you can see uh, that are uh, the directional microphones. And we uh, repack this microphone for waterproof. And uh, uh, the microphone is uh, deployed uh, on the uh, top about 150 uh, meter above the peak. And uh, on the wall, we deploy uh, an IP camera which can rotate left and right because uh, uh, we consider the uh, cost issue. This rotate, rotating uh, IP cam can monitor more uh, firing cages. And this is the cage. We design, we redesign the cage. This is the uh, feed bucket here and uh, here and uh, in the front door. And uh, in the back, uh, this is the water drop uh, and uh, uh, the e electromagnetic valve here. And uh, on the floor, we have the vibration device and uh, the low, lower cell. The vibration uh, device is to vibrate the floor to uh, enforce the soil to stand up. And the low cell is to measure the, the weight of the soil. And this is the heating light. The heating light can keep the increase the temperature to keep the pig leg warm. They will not so close to the mother so then uh, will avoid the accident. Okay. Uh, what? Sorry. Okay. And in the pic, uh, picto design, we uh, have three AI related notation. One is the uh, MFCC, uh, the second is the min max scaling, the third is the uh, CNN conv convolutional neural network. The MSFCC is, uh, is a filter. It can uh, filter uh, several uh, small number of features. Uh, typically, there are 20 fe uh, features. And the MFCC is often used to uh, describe the timbre and uh, speech recognition in the information retrieval from the vocalization. And uh, uh, the we use the min-max scaling uh, to scale the uh, major data to a fixed range here. Uh, the difference between the uh, MFCC and the min-max scaling is that when we use the MFCC, uh, it performs the filter to the vocalization. But uh, when we use the min-max scaling, it's only scaled the uh, major data to the fixed range, which means uh, we didn't filter any data from the original uh, vocalization. Okay, and uh, uh, the CNN is a deep neural network. It's very com uh, it's a very common tool in the uh, AI uh, technology. So uh, we didn't change 
the CNN model, but we have performed the uh, hyperparameter ad ad adjustment for uh, CNN. Okay, this is the functional block of PicTalk. Uh, first, I would like to uh, introduce the sensors. Uh, we have the directional uh, microphone to input uh, the screaming voice here, and the uh, temperature sensor is to uh, measure the Im environment status. Uh, we also have the audio uh, input from the database. Okay, the audio database uh, stores the historical uh, screen data and the, the labels um, uh, corresponding to the audio clips. Okay, the label is associated with an audio sample, uh, which indicates the sample include a uh, uh, piglet screaming or not. Okay. And this is the IP cam. The IP cam uh, include a camera and a mo motor. The motor is used to rotate the camera. The camera uh, connected to the streaming server through the uh, Ethernet cable. And uh, uh, if the farmer want to uh, watch the video, it can connect to the video server. Uh, the pig farmer can use uh, his or her smartphone to access the video from the streaming server here. Uh, uh, pig, ma pig farmer, you can he see this line. After the pig, pig farmer extend the video, then the pig farmer can uh, notify the pig talk uh, whether the alert is true or false. Then the pig talk can record the uh, audio sample from the uh, microphone to uh, the audio database and also take the label true or false uh, into the database here, this time. And these are the accurators here, uh, controlled by uh, PicTalk. In in this example, the heat heater, uh, heating light heater, uh, is the uh, in environmental accurator, and uh, the uh, the others are the soul alert accurators. Uh, include uh, the vibration floor, uh, electro uh, sprinkler, and uh, the air blast. Okay, uh, this is the core. The PicTor server uh, consists of the PicTor engine here and uh, the PicTor GUI. And these are the major components, and we will elaborate later. The people can use the uh, PicTor GUI to control the connection from the sensors to the accurators. And PicTor engine is uh, used to transmit the signal. There are, uh, as you can see, there are six modules called uh, de devi device models. One is accurator, uh, the uh, camera control, the sensors, data bank, machine learning device, and the line talk. Uh, the accurators, uh, they are uh, something like the adapters. They can retrieve the data from the sensors and send to the uh, PicTalk server. And uh, there are two types. 
Uh, one is the sensor actuator uh, application uh, here, uh, SA. The, the other is the uh, device application uh, called, uh, we call D, DA. Okay. Every, every DA consists of several device features to in interact with the uh, PicTalk engine. These are the device features here, 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 and here. Okay. Uh, for discussion purpose, uh, the input device we will uh, take the I and uh, if this is the uh, output device feature, we will take O here. Okay, for example, um, when we uh, uh, retrieve the, the pig legs voice from the microphone, there is an uh, input uh, device feature here, audio input I1. And it will send the audio into uh, the PicTalk engine. Then in input engine will uh, transmit the uh, audio into the data bank. This is an output device here. Okay. So uh, data bank and the, the uh, machine learning device are used for preparation and the uh, Prediction. Okay. Uh, as we can see, uh, there is an audio uh, input here, output to the data bank. The data bank can uh, store it to the real time audio data uh, base and uh, also uh, perform some preprocessing procedures. Then, input. Uh, it to the transform it to the spectrogram, then uh, put the uh, transmit the spectrogram to the machine learning device. Then the machine learning device will perform the CNN and make a decision, make uh, output the uh, prediction here, and the prediction can be used to uh, activate the. Uh, accurators here. This is the GUI of PicTalk. Uh, in the uh, left hand side, there are input device features. In the uh, right hand side, there are output device features. Okay? Uh, every device model consists of the several uh, small icons here, here, and here. They are device features. And uh, the device features uh, connect to the uh, output device by a line and a jo join circle. Uh, you can use the mouse very easily to connect uh, these lines, audio uh, input to the data bank. Uh, and in the join circle, when you, when you click the join circle, you can put uh, the Python, uh, Python program here, and we will present it later. Uh, this is a demonstration. When uh, the voice is uh, received from the audio I1 here, then uh, it associates with an uh, corresponding label, label one, label into here, and join to the data bank for training. The label uh, data are cut into fixed lengths, the uh, audio clips. The sensor and accurator application then perform the, uh, in the data bank perform uh, Free transform, first free transform, then transform the audio clips into spectrogram. It becomes the here, uh, the spectrogram I. Then 
the spatial gram I input to the machine learning device spatial gram O, and the machine learning device based on the spatial spatial gram can uh, perform the CNN model and the MAC decision. Decision I and decision I uh, can control the soul alert accura accurators here, the shock, water drop, air blast, or vibration. Yeah, this is an example how we uh, activate the uh, accurators from the crash the, uh, voice to uh, the the uh, soul alert uh, accurators. Yeah, this is the function management uh, I mentioned before. By click click the join for the join circle. Uh, a function management window here will pop up. The developer can write a, a simple uh, Python code here. And the argument is received uh, from the input uh, device features. And the return value will send to the output device features. Uh, this program is an example, a simple example that uh, shows uh, we uh, receive the temperature, uh, the temperature from the temperature sensors, and uh, use this value to trigger the heating light. Uh, specifically, we set uh, two threshold. Uh, one is when the temperature is more than uh, 28 degree, then we turn off the heating light. Else, if the uh, temperature is less than uh, 26, then we turn on the heating light. Why we set uh, the two threshold, 26 and 28 degrees? Uh, because we want to vo avoid the uh, oscillation from the, if we only set one threshold, for example, 26 or 28, if the temperature oscillates, then uh, the heating light will turn on, turn off very frequently. Okay, this is a uh, simple example. Okay, and we also uh, uh, demonstrate the uh, uh, handheld device, uh, the pick talk controllable on the handheld device. Uh, the farmer will get alert uh, to uh, from his handheld device here. It can open and uh, uh, see the video here, B. And uh, this tag, uh, this tag demonstrate the status is normal or abnormal. When the green uh, means normal, the red uh, may represent uh, the abnormal situation. Uh, if the, the uh, farmer uh, see, uh, there, there is no crash uh, here. The farmer can uh, stop the actuator. In the traditional way, if the pig day crash occur, the farmer should run to the cage to handle this uh, uh, pig day crash event and uh, stop the accurators. Okay, but uh, in the uh, instead of the running, uh, if you uh, if the farmer use the pig talk, he can. Uh, uh, review the situation from the uh, video panel here. And if uh, the farmer decides uh, there is no uh, crash event occur, uh, the farmer can uh, turn off the accurators. Yeah. 
and uh, okay, and also uh, the farmers can uh, manually turn on or turn off the heating light uh, by using the pictorial control panel here. Okay, uh, we talk about the uh, CNN uh, model and data. Uh, we can uh, see this flow. Uh, a is uh, preparation, and uh, B to G is a uh, traditional CNN model. Uh, in this talk, uh, we focus on the preparation because uh, uh, in here we enhance the uh, the special gram to CNN to increase the accuracy. The vocalization of the pig leg scream label as the abnormal, which means there is a, a crash event, and the uh, uh, normal, which means there is no crash event. The uh, his historical data uh, include uh, abnormal and normal vocalizations. And as you can see, uh, there are very few uh, abnormal vocalizations because uh, most pig deck are under uh, well control. So there are no such uh, uh, vocalization so, so much. There are only uh, 848 seconds. But uh, most of the time, uh, we have uh, 43,000 uh, seconds normal uh, vocalizations. This is the uh, uh, preparation procedure. Uh, we uh, separate the, we cut the uh, A 148 second abnormal vocalizations into one second uh, audio clips, but uh, to double the uh, the abnormal clips, uh, we shift the uh, we shift the audio clip with uh, 0 0.5 second uh, overlap here and here and here, okay? And we have uh, uh, doubled uh, abnormal clip. And uh, X1, Y1 are one second because we use the, uh, the different uh, capture frequency. So the S1 is 44,100 uh, uh, hertz and for one second. And we use the different uh, uh, preprocessing scale, uh, MFCC and the MIMFC scaling. Therefore, we will have different size uh, uh, X2 spe spectrogram here. We will talk about later. Uh, since uh, we double the abnormal uh, clip, we get uh, 1,696 uh, audio clip for abnormal label and uh, 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 43,200 normal uh, label. To have a balanced uh, training data set, uh, we randomly select the audio clips from the normal label here, and the uh, uh, shuffle can connect uh, into a balanced sub uh, data set for training. Uh, and X2, by performing uh, MFCC and the mid-match scaling, uh, we get uh, uh, 20 multiply uh, 86 MFC, M, M, MFCC uh, the spatial gram and uh, uh, 125 uh, multiplied 86 uh, min from uh, min max scaling. They are different size. That's because uh, in the beginning 
we said uh, we uh, in normally we have uh, uh, 20 uh, features from the MFCC and uh, uh, we didn't filter any data by using uh, min-max scaling so we have uh, 1,025 uh, data from the min-max scaling. Then we uh, separate uh, the data set uh, to training data set and the testing data set. Uh, we have uh, 80 percent training data set and the 20 percent uh, testing data set. Okay, and we also use the uh, K K flow cross va uh, validation uh, for K equal to five, and we get uh, the uh, accuracy from the MFCC and the, the min max scaling are uh, 98.9 percent and 99.4 uh, percent. They are almost the same. Okay. But um, as you as you know, uh, we uh, input the balance data training as uh, balance data set as the training input. That's because we uh, didn't want the, they are, we have more uh, normal data. If we have many, many normal data, then we afraid that the normal data will bias uh, our training. So we use the uh, training data set by the balanced data set. But in the uh, typical situation, the data set should be uh, imbalanced. They are more, much more uh, normal situation than uh, the abnormal situation. So we also uh, use the in, uh, balanced data set to validate. That's the result. If we use the uh, balanced data set, the MFCC and the, the min-max scaling are similar, get similar results. But we use the original imbalanced data set. We can see that the MFCC uh, drops, the accuracy of MFCC drops very uh, serious and uh, the min max scaling can maintain uh, more than 90% uh, uh, accuracy. Okay? So the results shows that uh, the min max scaling is uh, uh, more stable in uh, perform in balanced data set. So uh, we guess that this, uh, we didn't field any uh, voice data uh, by uh, min-max scaling. After uh, we perform the uh, decision prediction, uh, there, there is another uh, concern that uh, no matter uh, how, uh, how high the accuracy is, but if the delay time is too much, then the your master uh, is failed. So we evaluate the uh, delayed uh, by using uh, include the transmission, network transmission, decision, and uh, activate the uh, accurators. Uh, this is the uh, histogram for uh, 4G and ADSL which is for wireless and wireline. This is the uh, delay time uh, for ADSL, and this is uh, for 4G. Because, the, as we know, the, there are many routers in the past. Therefore, we use the I-stage early distribution to uh, fit the uh, 
histogram data, and we use the KS test to for the good goodness of fit. Then we have the uh, values i and lambda, and also uh, we perform the prediction when we uh, get the data. Uh, we measure the delay uh, from data bank uh, and the, the machine learning device. The uh, delay, delay is very uh, small, about uh, six to eight uh, millisecond. And uh, we fit approximate the delay uh, histogram by using the uh, gamma function. And in the third part, we have, uh, uh, assume that we have n actuators. Actually, we have four actuators, electro, uh, air breath, water drop, and uh, vibration flow. And uh, we calculate if the uh, actuators are activate, one of the actuator are activate, then the uh, mother throw can uh, put the multiple so stands up, and uh, we predict uh, the tau uh, larger than t zero plus t n, which means uh, the when the uh, pig deck is crushed to uh, the tau means the pig deck is crushed to the pig deck state. Uh, in the previous work, we surveyed. Uh, this uh, 30 minutes, about 30 minutes. So that means the uh, trans uh, data transmission uh, plus the uh, prediction and uh, uh, the accurator enable should be less than the this time, so, uh, uh, 16 seconds. We assume that the peak day crash is an exponential distribution that we uh, simulate it. Then we uh, get the uh, results from uh, uh, lambda equal to one. The error is very uh, small. We see uh, 0.5%. And the accuracy uh, and the, the survival rate is very high, more than uh, 69%. We also uh, change the time uh, for the peak deck survival to say, uh, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and then 90 seconds. The results are very good. Okay, more than 99%. Uh, uh, Okay, this is a very simple demonstration that uh, uh, we uh, performed the uh, proof of concept demonstration here. 本作品的展示情境在猪只繁殖场中，刚出生的小猪在离乳前需要母。本作品的展示情境在猪只繁殖场中，刚出生的小猪在离乳前需要母猪哺乳， okay, uh, 因此会按母猪一起饲养在同一个栅栏内。Uh, 由于母猪在躺卧时可能会挤压仔猪，造成仔猪受伤，甚至造成仔猪窒息死亡。本团队计划在猪舍中安装摄影机与麦克风，收录仔猪受压时的尖叫声与影像，并将影音资料以串流的方式传送至冰原运算平台。此时，即使影音一方面会送往云端测谱器供饲养人员检视，另一方面，声音资料将借由边缘运算平台中的卷晶神经网路，及时判断猪舍中的声音是否含有尖叫声。一旦仔猪发出尖叫，边缘运算平台会将异常讯息传送至云端测谱器，在储存异常资讯后，云端测谱器会透过 Line Notify API 传送警报给饲养人员，饲养人员在收到 Line 通知后。可以由讯息中的网址连回云端伺服器中的监控界面，查看猪舍即时影像，以协助饲养人员快速的拟定处置策略。
在模拟情境中，本团队准备了 IP Can 与麦克风，用于模拟租设的录影录音设备，并使用树莓派作为边缘运算平台。云端伺服器在模拟情境中，则以笔电代替。接下来为模拟载猪受压时本系统的运作流程。画面左上方为模拟猪舍中实际状况的影像，左下方为边缘运算平台中判断城市的运作状况，右方为饲养人员手机的画面。当载猪受压时，尖叫声会透过麦克风收音，并与 IP c a n 的影像透过影音串流送至边缘运算平台。当尖叫发生后，判断程式会及时的分析出环境中的异常叫声，一旦尖叫声持续超过五秒，程式会将警讯发送至云端伺服器。云端伺服器收到异常警讯后，会呼叫 Line Notify API， 把警讯传送到饲养人员的手机。当饲养人员接收到 Line 的警讯后，可以依照讯息中的超连接开启监控界面。监控界面中包含警报的详细资料与租舍的即时影像。饲养人员可以透过即时影像判断是否需要前往猪舍中处理。此时，饲养人员发现异常，并立即前往猪舍处理，警报解除。Okay, and this is the、uh, real operation in in the、uh, pig farm.、Uh, the first one, second, third, the fourth. And、uh, in the first picture, we can see that this. This pig stands up、uh, normally, and this is the the、uh, saw、uh, sit down, and the、uh, the pig scream the the pig leg scream is、uh, detected by pig talk.、Uh, this uh, the the saw the totally、uh, lies down here, and the、uh, Vibration floor、uh, is activated, and in the last picture, the、uh, saw is forced to stand up, and the, the situation is released here. And this is uh, uh, we can、uh, quickly review the monitoring system. Okay. Uh, this is the real system in, in the、uh, Fu,、uh, Formosa Fortune、uh, Group.、Uh, this light,、uh, this light, demonstrate the current status.、Uh, green means、uh, it's okay.、Uh, this button can control the、uh, vo voice,、uh, the voice、uh, replay, and this is the、uh, real uh, screen uh, to display the. Uh, current environment. 智能化猪舍异常警示系统监控界面功能与操作。声音播放控制功能，界面一开始为静音状态，点击后可播放声音。影像放大功能，点击可放大当前影像，查看载具是否遭压迫。再点击一次即可回到正常画面。异常事件历史记录，页面显示最新二十五笔事件记录。记录着载猪尖叫时的事发时间地点。点击 video 栏位的影片连接，会在页面右方播放事发当时影片。异常事件通知图示，当分娩色状态与图示显示异常时，表示分娩色有发生异常事件，且无人回报解除异常。No、如果异常状态已解除。点击图示后，分娩色状态与图示即显示为正常，并会记录处理时间与处理人员。The log will record、uh, which one、uh, process this event.、Uh, the picture wins、uh, many awards in、uh, 2019.、Uh, we, you can take a look at this. And、uh, I simply make a simple conclusion. Based on IoT and machine learning technology, we develop an IoT platform called PigTalk for detection and uh, uh, mitigating the pig leg crashing. We elaborate on the data processing and the machine learning mechanisms、uh, today. 
through the real-time analysis uh, of the received uh, uh, voice from the microphone, the PICTOR can detect the PICNET uh, crashing. Uh, with the screen, uh, screaming detection, the real-time uh, soul alert activation mechanism, the PICTOR can automatically uh, react to the PICNET crashing event and uh, save the crash PICNET with 99.93%. Thank you for your attention. Let's thank Professor Chen once again for his inspiring speech. Thank you. Thank you very much for attending.